even if you no longer receive over-the-air firmware updates from your OEM, the Android operating system is still receiving new software updates from Google. These used to be called Google Play System Updates, but have recently been renamed to Google System Services, even though they're showing the first name in your settings app. These updates get pushed out once per week, so let's talk about all of the changes that are rolling out right now, and then I'll show you how to install these new updates. First up, we have the update to the Google Play Services application, and this brings it up to version 25.34. We have five changes listed with this update, but the majority are going to be minor. However, one big change will now allow you to authenticate a tap to pay transaction with your smartphone or your smartwatch even if your phone has been left on the lock screen for more than 30 seconds. Something that I know a bunch of people are really going to appreciate. The other big change here will actually back up and restore your theft protection settings so you don't have to re-enable them each time that you set your phone up. Something that most people probably won't notice but this will be really handy when you upgrade to a new phone or side grade to a different one. And this is going to work for your theft detection lock, offline device lock, remote lock, and more will be carried over after a factory data reset or when switching to a new phone. The update to the Google Play services this week also comes with some bug fixes for account management related services, and they've added some dev features for smartphone and smartwatch developers to support device connectivity related processes in their apps. This week, we're also seeing the Google Play Store application updated to version 47.8. This update is even smaller than the last, with the only change listed as snippets within the Google Play Store now showing more relevant results. Since these changes do not come with firmware updates that are sent out via over-the-air update notifications, installing them can be a bit tricky. The first thing that you're going to want to do is check for that new Google Play system update. So open up the settings app, search for the word system update, and then look for Google Play system update. From there, you can tap in and manually check to see if you have an update waiting for you to be installed. With that updated, the next step is to install individual application updates, which most people will find within the Google Play Store application. But Google has a history of rolling out these updates very slowly and on a device by device basis, meaning even if one of your phones has the update, another one may not. And you can also have one update waiting for you while another update has been made for another device. So I know many people who will download these updates manually from a website like APK Mirror. As Android does a good job at making sure these are safe to update since they only accept an app update with the same key signature. I appreciate that Google continues working to add new features and harden its security for Android with these weekly updates. Many folks are going to be focused on those monthly or quarterly security updates, but a lot of bug fixes and new features get added to Android every single week. As always, 
if you aren't sure about how to find some of these updates, or if you got confused along the way, then feel free to ask for more details in the comment section down below. If you would, please remember to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and if you could, look for the new hype button below this video. It's something new that YouTube is testing out, and it's a great way for everyone to support the channel and help it grow. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you back here later on tonight.